Okay, I'm going to show you how to repair the Apple Macintosh power book, whatever type of piece of Apple equipment you have. Uh, MagSafe T type connector, which in pieces looks like that. I'm going to go in reverse order here and I'll show you the pieces as I go. Uh, so the, and then I'll show you how it all fits together in the end. Now, so this is the this is the power supply, and that's the T connector. <clears throat> and here we go. I'm going to show you the pieces. Like I said, first of all, you're going to cut the the casing here, and you could use some kind of a serrated. Uh, blade or a <clears throat> even if you want to invest three bucks or four bucks into a very fine hacksaw blade or if you've got one of these handy dandy Dremel cutting tools you can use that but you try and make the thinnest cut in it as possible because you're gonna, you're gonna either epoxy this or silicone I'm gonna use silicone to put it back together and you, you only have to cut down the sides on either side and then separate it by shoving a blade and just prying it up and peel, pulling it back so it fits on like that now we're going to get on to the we're going to get on the guts of the thing here this is the magnet and that slides over the end here i'm going to show you how to do that in a minute that's the magnet notice one end has a recess and the other end the working end has a uh, no recess. You see the difference there? I hope so. Let's see, that is the part that slides back onto the mag safe socket, and the pins stick out of that side. The piece that the pins come through uh, looks like this, and again, it's see, there's the profile. You can see very. Not sure you can see that, but there, it's got a raised piece uh, where the pins come through, and that fits up into the magnet. The flat edge goes against the power and the pins. So I'll show you that again in a second. There are two tiny pins, two two brass pins. One, two. Try not to drop them or lose them like that. There's two of them. And we're going to put those back in and I'll show you how to take them out. I'd suggest you can either use a safety pin or if you've got one of these handy jeweler sets, the really sharp probe to get the pins out. Bear with me here because you'll understand as, as I go back and, and put this together and then show you <coughs> uh, without taking it apart again. We're in reverse how to clean. Now, some people have suggested you can soak this whole set up in alcohol and try to get the pins to come free. These are the pins here that are the problem, especially these outside ones. And you know what? You can soak them, you can put oil on them, you could do all sorts of stuff, but the guck is really in here around each of the, the pins. And I don't think that that's that's never proven successful. When I say proven, I've had this problem before because these, although they're a, a neat idea, the this is a problem. Everybody has a problem. And the only solution Apple says is to replace the hundred and whatever dollars you have to pay for the whole power setup. I'd like to see some kind of a screw-on connector here where you can just replace these if you don't want to bother cleaning them up and doing what I'm doing. So that you don't have to waste that other big chunk of power supply. But that's not something that Apple's interested in doing. Okay, so the main thing is we want to make sure that these little uh, pin holes here are clean and I find I found or suggest a good way to do it is to take a obviously take some alcohol to uh, to uh, kind of get get it lubed up and then just take a I don't, know what thing, I don't know what these things are called. These kind of toothpicks. The pointy ones on both ends. And then 
Just kind of spin that in there just to make sure all the guck is cleaned out of the holes. Even get some alcohol on that. If you want, you could soak this in soap and water and really do a good job on it. And, of course, use the Q-tip just to make sure all the stuff is clean there. So let's, let's say you spent quite a time cleaning that up, because I've already actually cleaned this one up before. Notice there are five holes, and there's a tiny little hole in the center. That's a guide pin, I think. And there's the four, there's the four pins that are actually the, uh, the operating pins to, that are supposed to push in and out. And they are the ones that, that are the problem. We're going to clean those. Okay, so... Next thing to do is make sure that the pins are actually cleaned off. And again, I've cleaned these ones off already, but say you um, use alcohol, preferably, and you just make sure all the stuff's cleaned off there, including the cotton batten, that's, or whatever the stuff is on these Q-tips. You clean that all off of there. Obviously, this isn't plugged in. Don't want to short anything out. Okay, so then, we're going to use I use needle nose pliers and make sure that these pins are running now you see that they're that they're running smoothly in there I I kind of have a feeling that this spring down inside starts to lose its some um, kick out power but anyway I'm gonna leave that for now and I'll come back and okay so the pins are a cylinder obviously and you want to clean them and then what I do is I kind of pretend that I know I'm precisely rotating them to a different position so that I'm able to clean all sides of the cylinder of the pin Okay, I, I realize I should I should show you how to um, an easy way to do this. Dip dip the uh, plastic insert, the guide, the plastic guide into the alcohol, and then use use paper as a, as as a kind of just as a like sandpaper, just paper towel. That, that's how to get that, and then again. <coughs> Make sure that you make sure each of those, each of those is completely free running clear of crap. I've had students knock uh, my mag safe off um, at the university when I when they have to get by the projection desk coming late and they don't see the cord and I'm in a bad position to plug in and snap how it goes and I think that that isn't good for the MagSafe okay so everything's clean we haven't lost those two little pins and I'm gonna put it back together now here is the working unit make sure that we have that available the, the case cover and we're going to take the guide. I can edit this out. Okay. We're going to put that back on to there. Oh, by the way, I'm just going to show you something here. At the very at the working end of the MagSafe, there there are little brass uh, sleeves sleeves that the pins move up and down in. Those sleeves fit into the holes of this part. So, once you get that on there, you don't have to really worry. It'll, it'll go down when you put the magnet on. So, if we get that pushed on, see how it, see how it fits down like that? Say yes. Okay. I feel like I'm teaching a class here. You all understand? Then, we're going to take the larger opening and slide that onto the mag safe. This is the tricky part fits in there. Voila. Now we showed the, these two all-important don't lose pin things. 
I'm going to put those back in. To do that, put the MagSafe down in camera. And I am going to push those pins back in to the holes. I'm like one of those guys who likes to get all the nuts back on the uh, on the wheel before I tighten them up. So put both both pins in to make sure that we're a go. And I'm going to press those back into the there. They just slide right through if they're in if they're lined up. What it's doing is it's going through the magnet through the plastic guide and now you can see them both in place. Try to get them right in. There. It was just there. Okay. <clears throat> so I mean I'm gonna just review how to take this thing apart. These plastic housings can't come off and on too, too, too many times, I should imagine. So I'm not going to try to fit that back on for you right now. You can just imagine. Um, you know what it looks like to start with. Um, you cut just through there. Leave the back solid. Cut through there. And pry it up and lift, pull it back. Now, the next thing to do is to take a diaper pin. Or safety pin or if you've got it a, a probe something like this and drive that out the other side then definitely needle nose pliers to grip and tip back and pull the pins out so you pull both pins out then you're going to take off this mag safe uh, uh, magnet and then we're at the point where we were before and you're going to do all your cleaning and then you're going to put it back together as I just showed you how to put it back together. And that's it. And that's how you fix sticky. So you, you know that the symptoms you had were that the the battery wasn't charging on the computer even though you were plugged in and everything seemed to be working order. It's because those pins aren't coming forward. Now I've seen I've seen the fellow who says to take the mag knit and grind down the face but I don't think that's really a good fix besides anytime a magnet is heated up it um, usually loses some of its mag magnetism just like throwing it in a fire right then you have to remagnetize it so that wasn't the fix I was looking for by the way making this video I used uh, this ten dollar optic uh, tripod it's kind of neat uh, it goes down really flat you can see it in my hand it goes in my backpack and the legs swing out in making obviously a tripod there we go just had a tripod so I could film the tripod and there's the tripod and there's the head Again, it folds down quickly, one hand, and that's what it looks like.